it will react like so. If you could like and subscribe, fantastic. I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers. Hello, gonna take a look at the forward collision warning today. They often use cruise control on the 30 mile an hour roads, as long as they're not too congested. Although you can do it in stop start traffic. That, that's uh, a lot of people would do that. Nothing wrong with that. I wanna test it today to see what it happens. Now, there are a number of settings that you can actually set it to. You have to go into the autopilot because obviously cruise control is part of the autopilot. And the, you've got the forward collision warning. There's early, medium, late and off. Well, I've currently got mine set to the medium and I'm gonna see what happens. So today I'm driving in, not in autopilot, but cruise control. And the reason I am, it's not a very busy road, but it's a road that there's a few bends, but it's quite easy to speed on this road. And I don't want to, so I'm just gonna go at 30 miles an hour. So I've set the cruise control to 30 miles an hour. But sometimes, if there's a vehicle in the middle of the road, close to me, it will react like so on cue. Now, there really was no issue there. Um, and uh, we'll go to settings. And that's a very good example where the car wasn't really close to me. But probably by California standards it was. But in UK, that wasn't at all close. I uh, didn't do a thing there. Um, but it picked up that the car on the other side of the road could have been coming to me. Now I'm going to disengage here because there's a car here and uh, I'm just going to go like so. So I disengage. I disengage with the, uh, the stalk going up and engaged again with the stalk going down. So that was a pretty good example actually of um, how the when you're in cruise control, sometimes the car overreacts. I'm just disengaging now, braking here. I should have, I annoyed myself because I've actually used the brakes on that one occasion and I don't normally. Um, I was reacting a little bit slow. When in either autopilot or cruise control, if, there's a ve if it thinks a vehicle is coming close to you, it will give you a warning sign. But we'll go to the settings in a moment and adjust them and, and see if the same thing will happen again. So I'm going to go into the settings on autopilot. Although I wasn't in full autopilot, I was on cruise control. I'm assuming it's part of it. Now, speed limit warning, we're on the we have display but we're on the medium not early or late or off so I'm going to change that now to late and uh, we'll keep the lane departure avoidance still on and see if it makes any difference to those phantom alerts of course you can switch it off completely it's entirely up to you but we'll see if that makes a difference so I've adjusted the settings now to late which is the uh, so it should give me a warning but it's a lot later you can actually switch it off if you're unhappy with it uh, if that's a, a concern buying uh, a tesla um, but i'm going to have it on late and actually see what happens now it's um, not going to react to this down here uh, because i'm going to have to stalk up it's seen it stalk up so i've disengaged and i'll overtake here cars have to park on the cycle lane I've put it down one but I've seen a car another one parked on there so I'm going to override so it really doesn't work autopilot or cruise control autopilot on roads where people are just parking wherever they feel like it on the cycle lanes but of course it won't slow down to a junction it will slow down to a car at the junction and I've just overridden it. 
so even though I didn't need the brakes, I thought I'd left it a bit late, but I didn't, it slows down nicely. It's good that even on a dull day, the iPhone camera makes it look quite light. Actually, we've got the sun setting, so the back of my neck looks quite bright. Always amazes me when cars don't give way at these bollards that's in the middle of the road. This one here, I've seen five people stood in the middle. Cars just going on, you know. It's so, so easy to let someone go on a road like this. Okay, engaging the cruise control for 30. And, uh, the sun is just about going down, it's quite red. And we'll see if it, uh, now that we've got the early collision warning on late, if it makes any difference going up this road here. I'm not on full cruise control didn't do anything there so you know I, I think you've got to be aiming slightly for for me so not sure if this is going to work but uh, we'll see when you're testing something often it doesn't work and when you when you've got the camera on and you, you turn the camera off and uh, it works or the the effect that you're looking for happens no, I mean even our, on the uh, medium we had, because you, you've got early collision warning, you've got early, medium, well it did it there but it didn't beep, it just slowed me down, which is, which is fine because I had to, if I wasn't concentrating, I could have gone into the back, I was concentrating, I saw it there. So with the, there's early collision warning, there's early, medium, late, it was set on medium earlier where it gave me that warning. I changed the settings to late. Uh, possibly haven't had any instances, but I'll uh, keep monitoring it to see what happens. And of course, for anyone thinking of buying a Tesla who doesn't want that to happen, you can just switch it off. Uh, I'm sort of siding on caution. Maybe one day it will help me, but if it does it too much on late then I will take it off. Setting the forward collision warning to late I haven't had any warning so that's probably corrected that problem. Now it, it's, a, it's a balance isn't it there may be a day when you want that early collision warning but it, it's it's these are UK roads and I think this has been set in fact I know it's been set the California roads, which aren't the same as UK and Europe, so there is a difference. So for me, I'm going to keep it set to late, which I think will be great for European driving. Please leave your comments below. If you could like and subscribe, fantastic. I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you can like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Uh, drive safely and see you next time. Bye for now.